This started with Citizens United, a wretched decision that unleashed unlimited money to our politics, but, but it said that unlimited money was going to be transparent. That was its predicate. It's going to be transparent. You won't have corruption because everybody will be able to see. The ad will say, we're ExxonMobil, and we paid for this message. Well, of course, the dark money forces, having achieved that victory at the Supreme Court, went right out and violated that predicate. Right out. They have built an entire architecture of deception around their campaign finance since then. It's the 501c corporations that don't have to report their donors. It's the donor-advised trust that are money identity laundering devices for big donors. It's even as simple as phony baloney shell corporations. And sometimes they're stacked up. The money goes to the phony baloney shell corporation, and the shell corporation launders it through donors' trust, and donors' trust gives it to the 501c, and they dump it into the super PAC. And they all know what's going on. This is orchestrated stuff. So we have a real battle on our hands. This, we passed the billion dollar in dark money threshold a long time ago. And when people are spending a billion dollars in dark money to influence what goes on in this country, you can bet they're winning. You can bet they're winning. They wouldn't keep spending money by the billion if they weren't winning. So we gotta put a stop to this. The American people are with us. The polling is unbelievable. It's in the 90s. Whether you're a Bernie bro or a Tea Partier, you hate the idea that there is big, dark money in politics calling the tune for Congress to dance to. But that's the fact. Look at the outcomes. Look at climate change. There's no dispute about the science. We all know what needs to be done. But one big special interest, the fossil fuel industry, has shut down one political party and my strong bet is that if you looked at all the dark money funding the Republican Party in Congress, you would find that it is 80% the fossil fuel industry. They have become the political wing of the fossil fuel industry, and they specialize in fake climate denial for that reason, and it's going to cost us. The lost decade on climate is going to cost us. So dark money is not just a plague to the integrity of American democracy, it's a plague that harms our ability to deal with the other problems that are coming our way wherever there's a big special interest that can play the game of hiding the money and moving it around. And let me say one last thing. Dark money? Not really. Not dark to the candidate who's the beneficiary. Do you think that when a big dark money donor sets up a shell corporation and gives it a couple of million dollars and then has that shell corporation launder the money through donors trust and then has that money go into a super PAC to be spent for a particular candidate or against his opponent, you think they don't find a way to let the candidate know what they did and why? The only people who are not in on the joke are the American public and we have got to put an end to this. So. Democracy behind masks isn't democracy at all. Let's get rid of this stuff. The American public will be with us. It will provide health and hygiene to our democracy again, and we'll start to see results for the American people in a way that dark money has prevented. So thank you very much, uh, Senator Merkley, for leading us uh, in this enterprise. This is public service. This is why we came here. This is the democracy that needs defending, and by God, we're going to defend it.